Okay, so for lab one, we're going to start off with a simple problem of how to prepare a solution. So we are going to be using the equation m1 v1 equals m2 v2. So you should hopefully be fairly familiar with this equation by now, as we've been using it all semester. Um, but anyhow, so let's say we've got a question that asks us to prepare a 30 milliliter solution. So 30 milliliters. And what is 30 milliliters? So that's, that's our final volume. So we are going to want to make sure that we know that that's V2. So let's set it equal to V2. All right, so we're going to want a 30 milliliter solution of 1.5 molar solution. Um, it doesn't really matter what solution it is. So this is going to be our end result. So we want this to be M2. So um, by diluting a 6 molar solution. So we've got a 6 molar solution and now that is going to be our M1 because that is what we start with. So we want to dilute a 6 molar solution into a 1.5 molar solution uh, and we want our final volume to be 30 milliliters. So if you have all of these values it's a pretty simple problem because all you have to do then is say well we know M1 V1 equals M2 V2 and we just need to rearrange this to find our unknown which in this case is V1 is the only thing that we don't know. So Let's go ahead and solve for V1 by dividing both sides by M1. And so we are essentially going to have the M1 and the M1 on the bottom cancel out. And so we will be left with V1 is equal to M2 V2 over M1, which if we plug in these numbers, we will get M2 is 1.5. V2 is 30 milliliters and as long as you keep your units constant you don't have to switch into standard units so I'm just gonna leave this as 30 and then we're gonna go ahead and divide by M1 which is our 6 molar solution and that should give us our answer if we just plug that into our calculator remember that there is a parentheses that you don't see here in your calculator um, in this case it wouldn't matter but just for future reference know that there's a parentheses on the top and on the bottom of a division sign okay so that is the first part of lab one so know how to use that m1 v1 and for the second part of lab one we are going to do a if i can find the problem Oh, so the other part of the lab that we're going to do is the um, absorption. So if we remember back, well, let's just do this as a separate part.